Hey everybody, Tori Hartman here, and this week, rather than writing out a blog, I thought I would talk to you and blog, or so it's kind of like a vlog, right? So what happened was last week on my Facebook page, I ended up posting, what does yellow mean to you? And it was really interesting because I've been doing, what does red mean to you? What does the color orange mean? But it was very interesting to find how many responses with yellow and how many people had kind of a adverse or challenging reaction. Now, Patchouli Willow said, I know I don't know why I have an aversion to yellow as it makes me feel queasy, apart from in nature where I love all colors. Could this be linked to my chakra? Lindsay Watson said, I hate the taste and smell as well. But I do believe it's very much about the chakra in my case and about my personal power. It reminds me to stand and be fearless. And then the Source Holistic Healing said, these comments are awesome. Thanks for sharing. I do believe these mean issues in the chakra, but let's see what Tori says. And there's a lot of other comments. Jane Chapman Harrison said it was self-worth, power, confidence, sunshine. Of course, I'm out in the sun right now. Uh, intuition, gut feelings, and powerhouse. Amy Hedman said, courage to move forward, personal power. Um, Naz said, for me, it's where I used to feel fear. Um, and Nakeen said, energy, good with insight. Dini said, courage, self-confidence, self-esteem. These are all very good, by the way. Meredith Serrato said, overcoming fear. Kate Quarry said, sunshine and personal power. Notice that a lot of people are talking about personal power with yellow. It's very interesting. And Lindsay Ann Reeder said, um, forgive me if I mispronounced your name, Lindsay, um, power and strength. And Catherine Banks said heart. And what a great place to stop with the comments because one of the things I wanted to share with you all is that I find that most people, when they start a project, or are working into something, they get stopped between the second and third chakra. So I'm gonna share with you, and I always say this when I'm teaching a class or when I'm teaching anything related to chakra wisdom cards, that it's between the second and third week when a breakdown happens. And I often find that a lot of people give up or surrender, they'll even quit right before their third week in any process. So why is that? Well. The first chakra, we're laying a foundation. So the first chakra cards, the red cards, are about your foundation. Today, I'm gonna to mention the second and third chakra and validate and answer the questions that came up on Facebook. So, if you're watching this on Facebook and you're one of the people who commented, thank you because you're the reason I'm doing this video. So the first thing I wanna say is that the orange cards are all about our emotions. So as we look at these orange cards, they're gonna tell us how we're responding or behaving emotionally. Now, what's interesting is your meaning of orange will also come in here. So for example, some people said it was about compassion. So that's gonna be, these cards are gonna show how you operate in compassion. The orange cards, again, relate to emotion. How does that relate to the next chakra of yellow? Well, let's talk about that. So if emotionally we're feeling confused or we are in upset of any kind emotionally, have you ever noticed what happens to your thinking? You're confused, you can't function. Now it's interesting as I'm shooting this video, yesterday my car stopped in the middle of an intersection, right? So it was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't start the car. I was very lucky, there was a station right there, guys came and helped me, very blessed, right? But what happened to me emotionally? Well, emotionally, it's a very disturbing thing to be stopped in the middle of rush hour traffic, right? So my thinking gets clouded. I'm in upset, I'm confused, right? I go into this state. Well, that disrupts my thinking. So what begins to happen, this is our gut instinct, right? For most people, the chakra is their gut instinct. But what I find is that our instinct is fueled by our emotions. So if we have some kind of emotion that's tripping us up, these cards, the yellow chakra, is gonna illustrate where we are stopped. That's why I talk sometimes about how the joy card can be a challenging card because people may get stopped when they feel sad emotionally and they think they're supposed to be happy. Think about that for a minute. So what happens is the yellow chakra cards show our planning, what we intend to do or not do. And it often can show where we get stopped. So we look at the facade card, for example, and it's the story of the bronze god. And here he is with his inner child. Now the idea is that working through family issues, right? 
And how do you do that? Your thoughts can throw you into some kind of upset. So what I want to say is that whatever meaning you bring to the card, so for example, and I'm going to go back to what Catherine Banks said, she said heart. So for her, her heart may be flowing through that the way she thinks. And if her heart's not in it, her thinking will be catawampus, right? So think about that. Often a response to, and a lot of people did comment about how the yellow chakra makes them feel like they're blocked or stopped. What I want to say to you about that is that means that there's an emotion under it that may be unsupported. So what I suggest you do is when you're feeling your thinking is thrown off, go to the prior chakra. Go to the orange chakra and pull a card and look at what's going on emotionally. So just to give you an example, I'm going to pull an orange card for my, my car yesterday to show you how it comes forward is self-worth. Well, when I look at that card and the I know the fable, and in the fable, actually, the child has a problem and feels all alone in it. But at the end, she realizes she's going to be taken care of. And so I can see emotionally in this card the journey to my thinking, which is how does my thinking relate to that prayer you know the journey of it's all going to be okay in the end so for those of you who are working with the cards and you go gosh it's accurate this is another way to see where you get stopped and how to look at what you're experiencing emotionally and of course how the yellow cards will reflect where you get stopped and if you have some kind of aversion to yellow it may be that you're having issues in this moment planning this is why I never talk about a block chakra I often say your chakra could be busy <laughs> so that's my message for this week and I really wanted to tell it to you and explain and show you rather than just write it out and just say thank you to all the great messages on Facebook I do respond to them and I do see them so Go on over to our Facebook page, to the Chakra Wisdom Oracle page, and post there. Comment on some of the things I'm saying because it inspires me to then come and tell you what I see and, and respond to some of your questions. And I will see you next time. Have a great week.